everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to convert that Arrow Garden Harvest, it's the one that grows only herbs, into something that can grow vegetables or fruits. And in this particular example, I'm going to be growing peppers. I'm also going to be doing an experiment to see which germinates faster, seeds grown in an Arrow Garden or seeds just grown in little plastic baggies on a heat mat or near a heat source just in rock wool, just like this. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the tools you'll need to convert your air garden into a pepper garden, and then we'll go do the experiment and then the periodic updates. And I think I have updates through about three weeks. Let's go check out the tools. All right, so the tools you're gonna to need are as follows. Distilled or dechlorinated water or tap water if you're comfortable with your tap water. Then you'll need your air garden. You'll need some shears or knife or some scissors and these will help you get your seeds into the rock wool. You need a bowl so that you can soak your rock wool. Two little plastic baggies. You'll need the seed holders that are provided by the Arrow Garden, as well as the seed domes provided by the Arrow Garden. And you'll need the rock wool. I'm using four cubes, two for the baggies and two for the Arrow Garden. And then of course your seeds. I have chili manzano seeds, and then I also have jalapeno F3. And that's my own cross that I'm working on to create the tastiest and hottest jalapeno out there. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is soak your rock wool. And I'm going to use tap water that I boiled so I could dechlorinate it. And to dechlorinate your water, you bring your water to a rolling boil and let it boil for 20 minutes. And that pretty much gets rid of the, the chlorine that's in your, in your water. I'm gonna plop in the four pieces of rock wool and get them nice and saturated. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to prep our rock wool and we're just going to stick our seeds in directly into the rock wool. So I'm going to open our little plastic baggie here and this is nice and saturated. It really doesn't take long to saturate it. As soon as you drop it in, it soaks up all that water. So that's the first one. I'm going to do five seeds in the rock wool baggies and then five seeds in my arrow garden. And I'll show you how to do that one next. So this is my jalapeno F3. I'm gonna stick one in the center, drop one right down there, and then you can just stick these vertically into the rock hole. You might need your little knife to get it going if you can't jam it in there, but usually you can jam it in there just like that. Okay, so this is the first one. So when you're done with the first one, stuff it back into the, down into the little uh, Ziploc bag here. And then I like to stick it in before closing the Ziploc bag, I'll stick it into my little stand first and using my thumb. So when I push the rock wool down, the seeds don't pop up because my thumb is preventing them from sticking back out. So it's, it's getting all the air out of the bottom of the rock wool cube and it's getting pushed all the way to the bottom of this little stand here. So after that, close the Ziploc baggie. You don't want any moisture to get out because you want these to be like little mini greenhouses. And that's the first one. Okay, so I went ahead and I did the jalapeno F3 in my seed holder here. And a quick tip before you start, there are two things. The uh, Aero Garden seed holders come, they come with this little plastic thing that constricts the these little ribs that go down. One thing you want to keep in mind if you're especially going to transplant these plants it'll help you once the roots really establish to get rid of that little plastic thing prior to uh, letting them go crazy uh, it's just a little quick tip and the second quick tip you'll you're going to see now is when you put your rock wool in you want to do it over your bowl because as you slide this rock wool cube into your little seed holder here it's going to push out some water and might as well get the water back in the bowl so you don't make a mess. If you see the uh, jalapeno seeds, you can barely see the tips of the seeds and that's kind of what you want. That's the depth you want. Not all the way down so you can't see them, but just a little bit visible. So the manzanos are done and you can see them a little bit better up close. So there you go. And the baggies are all set. I'll put this on top of the, the heating mat. And now let's go get the arrow garden. Okay, so now we're gonna set up our arrow garden. First thing you do is you add water, and it says on this little thing, fill to here. So I'm gonna fill to there. And this is the same water I used in the little baggies. 
Okay, I just covered it. Hopefully that's what it meant by fill to here. We will find out. And now it says add the plant food. It says six to seven pod models. And I have a six pod model. It says eight milliliters, two capfuls at the startup and every two weeks. So I'm gonna give the bottle a nice shake. You see, this is the plant food that came with the, uh, the Aero Garden. Eight milliliters equals two capfuls. How's that for math? So I'm gonna take two capfuls. Hopefully I don't spill. I'm put one over here and one over here. All right, so after that, we're gonna put the top back on. And then it also says for taller plants, put them in the back. So I'm gonna put the manzanos right there and I'm gonna put the jalapenos right there. And what's nifty about Aero Garden is to give you these little grow domes that act as miniature greenhouses. Now that's set up, it just says plug it in and the light will come on every 15 hours and the pump will automatically circulate. So let's go check that out. Before checking that out, I wanted to bring something to your attention. I am not using these four holes right here and I'm going to have to cover them up with something and I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard. And that's because if light gets into the reservoir, algae will start to grow and it will choke out your plants that are growing. So if you're planning on growing less plants than your air garden offers, you should cover up those holes so you prohibit light from getting into the reservoir. I have the seed mat here and I have it sitting on the box it came in because I have uh, rock floors and they're very cold. This helps insulate against the, uh, the seed heat mat so the heat mat can actually do its job well. All I have to do is plug this in and the light should come on. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna drop this light down all the way. So you can't see it anymore, but that's it. Happy New Year, everyone. And we will be back as soon as the first seed germinates and we'll see which is more successful, the Aero Garden or just letting your seeds in little plastic baggies. Okay, everybody, it's January 9th, 2020, and we have a winner. And it is the Jalapeno F3 inside the Aero Garden. So if you see right there on the right, you can see a little purple, purple stem growing right there. And then the bottom one also has a little bit of a sprout coming out of it. The Manzanos still haven't germinated there. And then the Rockwell cubes have still not germinated. The Jalapeno F3, that's what this one is. And the Manzanos are still dormant right there. So eight days and the Jalapeno F3 has germinated from the Aero Garden. I'll keep you posted as more germinate next. All right, everybody, today is January 18th and we have a lot of action going on in the Aero Garden and in the baggies. So first, Take a look at the Jalapeno F3 seedlings. The two are going strong right there. And then there's one little guy starting to push out right there. And then another one right there, but that might just be the tip of the seed. It's too early to tell. So the Aero Garden has germinated three Jalapeno F3 seeds. And more importantly, if you see on the right side, I have two germinated Chili Manzanos. So let's get a little zoomed in picture. So there they are. But more surprisingly, I have a Chili Rocoto or Manzano germinated in the back on the same exact day. But yesterday, I noticed this guy coming out of the center. It took a long time compared to the Air Garden. 17 days, but one, two, three, four have germinated from the baggie. So that's a better germination rate than these, but it took a little bit longer. It didn't make a difference for the Manzanos. I have, well, quantity-wise, I have one here, and then I have two there. Based on this one experiment alone, the Manzanos took the same amount of time to germinate. Granted, there are two in the Aero Garden sprouting, and then one in the Rockwool Cube sprouting. So based on that alone, the Aero Garden is better. But then the Aero Garden only germinated three, of my jalapeno seeds, and then the Rockwell cube germinated four so far. So if you look at it from that perspective, although it took longer in the Rockwell cube to germinate, I have more 
seedlings sprouting. If you don't have an arrow garden, not all is lost. You can germinate your seeds in rock wool, just like I did, and then you'll end up with plants like this. These were all germinated in rock wool. I didn't have an arrow garden, and they're all in little cracky, non-circulating uh, hydroponic setups right here. So it can be done without an arrow garden, but it's just really convenient to have an arrow garden because it tells you when to add water, when to add nutrients, and you have to guess and check when you're doing it on your own. So that's about it, guys. I'm not going to do any more updating now. I think the experiment has come to an end. You might see these peppers again in a later video, but as for now, I think they've served their purpose. So with that being said, let's go sign off. Okay guys, so that's about it. The experiment it didn't really yield conclusive results. I've done the plastic bag method before and the results were much quicker than the ones I just did now. And I think that's because I used uh, another heat source, which were my fluorescent lights, as well as a heat mat from down below. It actually germinated the jalapeno F3 seeds in only seven days. So with that being said, it actually beat out the Aero Garden. But I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison in this video just to see what would happen. So I think the main difference is getting that heat source from above to mimic the sun. So nature knows best always, and I think the best way to germinate your seeds is to have heat from all around the, the, the seed letting it know, hey, it's time to sprout. Well, I hope you learned a lot today. I hope you learned how to convert and set up your arrow garden harvest to grow other things other than herbs. And I hope you learned how to, to germinate in different ways. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And as always, I'm Farmer George. Let's share and grow together. See you next time.